here in the first quarter. All right, here comes Children's kickoff. Boom, he hits it. High, not too deep. Going to go to Mitchell at the 6. Back to the 10. To the 15. To the 20. To the 25. Hit and drop at the 25-yard line. Field goal from virtually in the middle of the field for Trey Weir. He's kicked three out of three so far this year. High snap from center. Gets it up in the air, and it is... Good. So Bitter takes the three nothing on to it for what would have been a touchdown there. So uh, you're even though it was a field goal, a 28 yarder off the toe, Trey Weir. Baylor up three nothing. Chilton advances on the ball, gets away his kick, and this one is going to go deep. Going to go all the way to the goal line, two or three yards. Mitchell goes to one knee, will not run it out. Eric Mitchell will not run it out, and so Mike, the line judge, Ron Underwood, a piece of his mind over in the far side. Now watch this guy, watch this guy punt, Colorado. In the normal dry air out in Colorado, he kicks him about 60 yards. This one is a wobbly short punt. It'll hit, however. Swayze watches it bounce. bounce it. Oh, did that ball touch him? I hope not. Uh, that ball looked like it might have grazed his shoulder. I sure hope it didn't. If it didn't, it rolled. Oh, drop ball bonner. And it's the field. J.J. Joe rolling scrimmage is the Baylor 17. Colorado has a single safety. That is figures. Dion figures. He's a good one, too. Rett's kick is away. It is a fine punt. Boy, a fine punt. Figures will retreat all the way to the 27-yard line. Goes back to the 30. It loses one tackler and hit and boom! Knocked down at the 30-yard line and there's a flag down. Oh, boy, what a tackle. Laney. Burleson was 86, was it not, uh, down the field on that drive. And now we'll get the try for extra point by Blotto. 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 <laughs> it is Blotto. Blotto. X. Extra point is good. Colorado leads it by the Colorado kickoff. Colorado's had the ball for 10 minutes. Baylor's had it for three so far with only 59 seconds remaining in the first quarter. 7-3 Colorado. Here's a kickoff that is out of the end zone into the wind. Tremendous kick. Nice kick by Blotto. Come on, think about it. Blute first time. And Dion figures stands at his own 20. Jeff Chancellor will snap it. It's a good one as usual. Gets his kick away. No rush. Wobbly. It'll hit and take a Baylor. Take a Baylor. No, take a Colorado bounce. Killed in midair. High leaping jump by one of the Bears to kill the ball. And that's what it is. Intentional grounding on Cordy out of field goal. Oh, yeah, they're out of field goal range now. Cordell Stewart, who has uh, eight of eight passing. He could receive the snap back at about his own 43. His steps will take him forward to about the 50-yard line. So he'll kick from about midfield. The line of scrimmage is the Vader 44. Good helmet, high snap. Gets his kick away. It is a high spiral, nose-up spiral, which is going to hit and go into the end zone. we got a flag down at midfield. So if the punt is allowed to stand, the better did get to choose as an all-Southwest Conference team. Blotto will be kicking it. Gets it back on the tee with the wind, rides it high up in the air, and it is looking to be, it is going to be good. 50-yard field goal by Blotto. Blotto. You smooth performance during warm-up. Some don't give you the highest level of... 9-12 to play in the first half of the ball game. Temperature is 86.3 degrees, humidity 67%. Wow, look at that kickoff. Berger kicks that one with the win. Five yards out of the end zone. That one was a 75-yard kick. But it's 14 to 2 remaining. John, looking at the crowd, I'm going to say we probably have... 5 yarder his first attempt, then a 26-yarder the second time around. Dion figures awaits the punt at his own 40-yard line. Delaney's kick is a good one. It's going to the far side of the field away from Delaney, uh, from figures. Spins out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Let's see. The touchdown! It'll last five yards on the kickoff. Uh, McFarland had the receiver well covered to the inside. The pass was simply over his head, and Johnson out jumped him and came down with the football for the touchdown. And the extra point try is up, and it is good, added by Berger in the second quarter. And I don't think there's any way you could fault Mike McFarland on that play. He was simply 1990. Okay, Colorado leading 17 3. The crowd beginning to get a little bit restless now as Colorado gets ready to kick off to the Bears. Here comes the kick by. Berger, and it's going to be out of the end zone. This one about an 80-yard kickoff. That one went 70. That's really about 80 yards. Right? Eight, but man, dead. safety. That's right. Add two more points to Colorado. Here comes Children's kickoff into the breeze. That's another bad thing. The safety, of course, you got to give up the football. Picked up at the 22-yard line. Lamont Warren, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Cross midfield down to the Bader, 45. All down at that point. Over. Mike McFarland passed 15 times, has made every single one of them. To make it a 26 to 3 lead for Colorado. Here's the pass for the snap from center up, and the kick is good. And the Buffaloes have scored in every conceivable fashion. Easy. But John Henry is now the deep man in the middle of the field. Waiting Colorado's kickoff, leading 26 to 3. 
2.46 before halftime. Here's the kick. High and deep. There'll be no run back on this one. John Henry will watch it sail deep out of the end zone. Fred Robertson and Andrew Swayze with the other two deep men back. That's another third down misfire, but all by 26 and 33 yarders. Okay, here's a punt by Delaney. Gets his kick away. It is high, wobbly, going to the far side of the field. Hits and goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Let's see, does J.J. have some of the four? 25, they have scored, uh, the Buffaloes have scored on every possession. This 33 to 3 over Baylor. And Blotto's kick is up, and it is good, and Colorado now leads it by a score. Of have a uh, very good winning percentage of the, the last few years. In fact, the fourth best. 26 points in the last seven minutes and eight seconds of the ball game, deleted 33 to 3. Deep man is Brandell Jackson. Here comes Blotto's kick, and there'll be no run back on this one. Brandell takes it. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's going to run it out of there. 5, 10. Cuts to his right to 15, to the 20, to the 22-yard line. Boy, it's a good thing he made the touchdown. Almost took there now this season, coming as it does, 51 seconds before halftime. Trey Weir's extra point effort is up, and it is good. 51 seconds to play, and the Bears get it up to a third down. 80-yard pass and run play from quarterback J.J. Joe to David Mims and, and Azusa. Azusa. You never heard the Jack Benny show, did you? <laughs> no. Here comes the kickoff. It's coming short to the 15-yard line. Back to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and stopped at the 32-yard line. For a touchdown. Okay, well, let's see. As Bader prepares to receive the kickoff, we're at 86.1 degrees on our digital thermometer, and it is going to be John Henry, the deep man. He stands about five yards deep in the end zone. It's Colorado 33, Baylor 10. Baylor scored on an 80-yard pass and run to David Mims just before the end of the first half. Wow, another shot out of the end zone. Colorado's kickoffs have consistently gone against the wind now, or with the wind, I'm sorry, about a 75-yarder. And that is just uh, nothing but positive for Baylor to get in the end zone. Trey Weir will try the extra point. That's the second Bears touchdown of the season, second of the afternoon. Back, down off the hold of Jason Young, out of the snap of Jeff Chancellor, and it's good. We've got 11 minutes to unanswered touchdown. This is the Baylor Bears Radio Network. Colorado's deep man is Eric Mitchell, and of course the Bears need the football again. They've cut the lead down to 33-17. At, at one point it was 33-7, uh, 33-3. All right, here comes Children. Gets away a high kick, not too deep. Going to be taken about the 15-yard line. Mitchell's the 15-20, up the middle of the 25. Look out, he's to the 30, 35. Hit and dropped at the 36 or 7-yard line. 7-yard line. Fourth down, and it'll be a, next, it'll be a field goal attempt. 15, it'll be a 27-yard effort. Make it the 18. It'll be a 28-yard effort. Blato's back. The kick is up, and it is good. So Blato's field goal will put Colorado back up now by 30 17. You're listening to Baylor Bear Football. Are you looking for a bank with truly outstanding? Just before halftime. Either way, it'd be pretty good. Sure would. Right now, though, it's 19 points in front for Colorado. 36-17 with 6-19 to play third period. Here's the Colorado kickoff. Pittsburgher spins this one relatively short. It hits and takes a bounce out of the end zone. John Henry tried to get his hands up to get that one to run it back, and he couldn't do it. It hit it to one. In nicely. 36-23, Colorado. Bader will try to cut it down to a 12-point margin. Back, down. Jason Young puts it on the tee, and Trey Weir puts it on the scoreboard. 36-24. Now the Bears are brought it up to 36-24. Let's go across this for Van for a minute the third quarter and only 12 points the difference on the scoreboard Mike Chilton will kick off from left to right the deep man for Colorado is Eric Mitchell stands on the goal line temperature 87.4 degrees right now Chilton will kick off advances on the ball gets that seven yard kicks a low sliver hits on the ground bounces around picked up by Colorado to 10 back to the 15 to the 20 to the 25 30 yard line Colorado will get accept Yes, by 18 again. 40. Hey, what? This is the most points scored on Baylor in quite a while. Westbrook, he had seven catches, but for 130 yards last week. Tobin will hold. And Blotto will add the extra point, which is good. So, 13-51 still to play in the ballgame with the score now. Connor back from the radio show Car Talk. You know, every week we get an earful of people's car problems. Ouch, that 66-10 loss to Houston back in 1989. That one still smarts pretty badly, too, doesn't it? Sure does. Okay, ready for the uh, kickoff from Mitch Berger. 
Colorado's consistently kicked them off out of the end zone today, and Berger kicks this one high and deep into the wind. Going to be a run back, however, at the five. It's John Henry. 10, 15 behind the wedge, 20, 25 on his feet to the 28, 29, 28 yard line. Nice run back, but I can't recall. Delaney's kick is away. It's a nice spiral, nice kick, but it'll be a run back. Figures it to 30. Left. 35. 40. 45. 50. 45. A tripped up over his own man at the Baylor 40 yard line. Figures. Colorado makes it a physical cut it down to a 12 point margin. It is back up now to 25. The flesh for that big upset last year. Up. Kick is good. 50 to 24. 10 25 remaining to play. Colorado leading it by... Around here, when you talk football, the preferred choice is our own Baylor Bears. And when you talk tender... Not Front 30 to 3, Baylor cut it down to 30 to 10. And it was 36-24, and now Colorado scored 14 unanswered points and lead the Bears by 26, 50 to 24, with 10-25 to play in the game. Hot, sunshiny afternoon, but it has not been the Bears' day. Here's the short kick we have picked up by Henry. 10, behind the wedge at the 15, 20, 25, and finally hauled down by a gang of... Illegal formation. Bears going to go for it, I guess. They're not going to punt. They're down, or are they? Yeah, they're going to kick. Here's had a big punt return. Hey, would, they, would, they, would they run a fake here? No, nope, guess not. Kick is the way. He's going to have room to run, too. Kick is a good one, and he's going to have room to run. Figures it's 20. 25. Stood up. No, breaks out of there at the 30 and onto the 34-yard line. I thought surely that play was over at the 25-yard line. The defender and Melvin Bonner. That was one of those timing patterns where you simply threw the ball up, hoping Bonner could run under it. Much like a, uh, a basketball. Fast, defense. The next point. You have to this. Retry. So pass aren't coming in the ball game at tight end. But only seven. Yes, Wade over there on that right-hand side. He's the third guy from the end. Now watch where he usually tries to bump the ball. He's facing back toward the middle of the field this time, though. Swayze is in motion. Yeah, he's going to bump it to the left now. Let's see what happens. Watch this. There's the bump off the Colorado man, and the Colorado guys played it right. They picked it up and fell on it. Craig still, I mean, yeah, Rick. Tight <laughs> end position was right open, straight down the middle. Nobody touched him, and he won. 6 to 32 with a try for extra points still to come. 88 points, maybe 89. Here it goes. It's up in the air. Well, you know, you say, well, why is McCartney still throwing with a 50, 50 to 30? And even on that last play, that offensive formation was no back. They had to throw out of that form. Here comes the kickoff from Berger. It's a high sailor. Going to go to the far side of the field. There'll be a fumble and a run back, however. Chasing it down and picking it up is Andrew Swayze. Swayze gets to the 20, gets to the 26-yard line. That's about a 23-yard line. That's about all. About 30 miles. I guess they probably don't agree with us out in... Baylor has not played uninspired football, but they have gone up against the Colorado team that's been absolutely merciless in its execution of the offensive passing game. Here's Trey. We're trying another onside kick, and again, Colorado covers it to 45. And again, I believe the same guy, Christian Fourier, the...